Hey everybody, Zabricus here with Thirsty Thursday episode 7. Yay! Okay, so first of all, we are going to be drinking, if I can even get this out, oh, out of a Star Trek glass. <laughs> We're going to be drinking the Walkerville Brewery Easy Stout. Um, it's a craft stout from Windsor, Ontario. I've had it before. It's actually really delicious, so I'm stoked to drink this. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So today's episode, um, I'm going to talk about something else that I am super passionate about. It's something I talk about relatively often, but I feel like I just need to dedicate an episode to this. Um, it's weird that I haven't even done it yet, so cheers. That was a lot of head. Not what I wanted. That's better. Actually got a taste of beer this time. Again, it's a really smooth, um, really dark, just really easy drink stout. So the name Easy Stout is perfect for it. I realize that since I'm drinking things, I should actually probably review them for you guys a little bit. So if after this you guys want to know any more about this beer, just message me. I'll tell you all about it. But in general, it's really tasty if you like stout. So it's just a simple, really super tasty stout. So anyway, today's topic. And we have a special guest. His name is Smee. Come here, Smee. Oh, he probably won't be good for most of this, but just so that you can see his adorable stumpiness, so that you can understand why he is so adorable, why all oh, corgis are the best legs. No, okay, he didn't like that. Look at his little nubby legs. Look at his little nubby legs. He just wants a cracker. See? Look at that majestic little beast eat. Mm, he's so cute. Okay, I'm actually gonna let him down. We'll pull him up again every now and then, just as we need more quirky reference. Um, so why is today's Thursday Thursday about quirkies? Well, because they're amazing. Just straight up, they're the most amazing dogs out there. You can argue that like pugs or huskies or labs or some other dog is better. No. Corgis are the best. So let me tell you guys some things about corgis. First of all, they're just so stinky cute. I mean, like, they have those dubbiest little legs, but they're actually super powerful. So corgis were initially bred by, um, like, the Welsh back in forever ago to be herding dogs. This means eating paper. It's okay. Um, they were bred to be herding dogs for cattle uh, because corgis are short enough that they can nip at the cattle's ankle, the cowsies' ankles. <laughs> um, but they're also lithe and short enough that they can avoid the kicks. So they're actually really effective herding dogs. And just because they have little short, little stumpy legs, does not mean that they are super fast. I mean, think of a rabbit. Rabbits have super short, stumpy legs, but guess what? Rabbits are fucking fast. And they kind of run like rabbits too, it's great. <laughs> but yeah, so he, Welsh corgis are actually super fast. And they like to hurt things because that's what they're bred for, so sometimes they'll just kind of nip at your heels sometimes just to get you to go somewhere. I don't know where. He tries to hurt me, I really don't know where. I don't even think he knows where. But that's okay because he's just adorable. Oh, what else about corgis? So, corgis were initially believed to be magical little creatures, and that they were believed to be the mounts for fairies. So, there's a lot of, like, lore and myths about corgis. I mean, like, how could a corgi not be the mount for, like, the fair folk? Like, totally! Yes! Of course that is totally the case! <sighs> yeah! If I was a fairy... I would ride a corgi. Totally. No doubt about it. 
Um, also, they are royalty because the Queen of England has a ton of them. She first got them when she was like super young and then just, you know, kept getting them because they're just so stinking cute. So, hello, if the Queen of England loves corgis, there is obviously something magical about them. Especially if she has like as many as she does and she just keeps getting them because they're amazing. They're just so cute. I love them. And they have just little nubby butts. Um, I'd show you his butt, but that might be a little weird. Um, most corgis tails are docked, but um, with breeding, it's actually being so that genetically a lot of them are born without tails. Um, but just know that that is not how the case actually is supposed to be. That they do have tails in their dock. Beep, 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 beep. But that's okay, because it creates their adorable little corgi butts that you guys see all over the internet being like, what, what, corgi butt? And yes, they totally strut when they walk, because they are sassy little dogs. They're actually really smart. Um, corgis are probably some of the most personable, sassiest, smartest dogs I've met. I mean, yes, they're not on, like, the top ten smartest dogs, but I mean smart in a different way. Like, these dogs totally understand you. They're just sassy as hell and stubborn. So like, you can be like, sit, and they'll be like, no, you sit. <sighs> but they know what you're saying, and so eventually they'll actually sit because they want that damn treat. But they're, they're just so cute. <laughs> okay, I had like a ton more like random awesome facts to tell you, and now I can't remember like any of them. I have a feeling he's gonna start barking like any minute. Bulba, Bulbasaur. That was my Bulbasaur uh, call. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, corgis, 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 corgis. I, I, actually, I have a corgi picture up there. It is a corgi portal. That's great. Um, so, yes, corgis. They're the most amazing magical creatures you could ever possibly want. If you're not a dog person, a corgi will make you a dog person. It's just facts. Like... You can try to dispute it, you can like try to give me like science or like stuff like that, but science is actually on my side because I said so. Um, cause that's how facts work these days, right? Like if anyone says it and you say it on the internet, it like instantly becomes true. Like, right? That's how things work now, right? Right. Totally. I'm being sarcastic. Um. Corgis. <laughs> um, they come in all sorts of different colors. A lot of people just think that they come in sable or tricolor. Me is tricolor because he has three colors. <laughs> Imagine that. Try three. <laughs> um, so you'll see a lot of corgis that are just the reddish, well, the creamish and white, or you'll see some like me that are the black and the cream and the white. Um, sometimes they'll be like this cool crazy mixed color they can be so, which is called merle and they can just be like all sorts of combination of that. Um, there's technically two kinds of corgis which technically shouldn't both be in the same family because they're not descended from the same kinds of dogs. There's the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Smee and most corgis that you see on the internet in all the adorable little memes with shaking their little butts um, are Pembroke Welsh Corgis, um, and they're usually the ones with the dock tails, and they're just so cute. Uh, the Cardigans usually have longer tails, and they look more kind of like a blue healer-ish type dog, not quite like him. They look different. They look different, but they have stubby legs. And so that's why they used to be, or are often considered to be in the same family, but again, they're not actually related. Actually. Corgis are descendants of huskies, which are descended from wolves. So corgis are super close to the wolf family. Arr, and actually, like he does kind of have like the little wolfy face. And he is, and all corgis, are super amazing watchdogs. Um, you could probably train it to be a good attack dog. But because they're so short, it makes it more difficult. But, like, if they hear anything, and, 
like if there is someone knocking at your door they will let you know if there is someone knocking at your neighbor's door they will let you know if there is someone like tiptoeing across the street they will let you know if a butterfly lands like a mile away on a hobo's nose like they'll let you know they're very attentive and aware of their surroundings and their bark although they are like little dogs their bark is enormous like you guys have heard him occasionally it's terrifying his bark is like the size of a like husky or something bark it's big they they don't they don't yip no they don't have little dog syndrome so they don't yip like that either they bark and it is deep and it is terrifying and it will wake you up in the middle of the night it is the worst alarm clock ever <laughs> the worst um they are really memeable uh, again like you guys have probably seen them all over the internet or maybe that's just me because everybody tags me in corgi stuff um but because they're so memeable that just means that they're just extra amazing and adorable and super cute and I love them oh my gosh they love them so much <sighs> This is delicious. I really wish it would have made me burp so much. I'm sorry. Smee! Yeah, we want more Smee, huh? Come here! It's more Smee! See? Just look at his little legs. Look at his little quirky butt! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He's not amused. <laughs> he just, he just wants more crackers. The rest of his crackers on the ground, so he's mad at me. And no, he technically shouldn't be eating crackers, but shh, they're good bait to make him be good and stay still. Is he's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So this video hasn't persuaded you to go out and buy a corgi right now. I don't know it will, but they are the most amazing creatures. They're magical. They're royalty. They're intelligent. They're so stinking cute. They will make the internet jealous of you. They it really will. It's just instant, like, internet magnet. It's a thing. Look at their little ears. They're so soft. They're so soft. Anyway, that will conclude this week's uh, Thirsty Thursday, which has been interesting. And Stumplicious. Yes. Just like in our face. Thank you, Smee. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did and you're not already subscribing, please make sure to subscribe down below. Um, if you didn't like it, you should subscribe anyway. If you're not already. Because maybe I'll talk about something you like someday. You don't know. You don't know me. But that's how you get to know me is you subscribe. And... Make sure to follow me on all the social medias, those down below, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. I'm doing all sorts of amazing things on Patreon this month because it's my birthday month. My birthday's in two days. It's in two days. And so there's all sorts of crazy awesomeness going on there. Um, so please check it out. Um, lots of exclusive content that you will not find anywhere else. It's a thing. Um, I'll be streaming on Twitch a lot more again starting next week. Uh, so... Follow me there. Lots of Diablo, or lots of Overwatch and Diablo Necromancer is released next week, so I'll be doing that. And then also next week, uh, Crash Bandicoot comes out, so I'll be streaming that as well. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more videos to come out this weekend um, from Alkali Lake and I as we have our birthday bash. This is really long now, so I'm just going to stop talking.